Hey, this is Mike Johnson again, and I'd like to welcome you to the second tutorial video for the Social Deals Engine WooCommerce Edition. Now, for this part of the plugin, it really, really is simple, especially if you're already familiar with WooCommerce. All you have to do is go down into a product. We're in an edit product. We're at mindfulminerals.com again as an example. Uh, these are real live products, real live deals being run right now with this uh, with the plugin. Now, if you come in here, you'll see you can use any of the normal WooCommerce functions. There's no difference. Uh, variable products, whatever you can use them. Virtual, downloadable, doesn't matter. Um, come in you set your price uh, and for the deal you set your deal as a sale price and then you also set your sale price dates using the normal WooCommerce interface here and that's all you have to do as far as that goes that will give you the on the deal that will give you the timeline for the deal it will give you the d discount deal value how much you save and then the actual price for the deal that will all be computed from those settings right there. Now, as far as inventory, if you want to show limited inventory uh, for a limited time offer like stock quantity, you can change your stock quantity to say you're only running this deal for 20, uh, 20 products. You know, there's only 20 products in your deal. You come into your inventory and change your stock, stock quantity. Okay and set your other variables there as well and <clears throat> you do want to make sure you're managing your stock at the product level here for that setting now everything else is your normal WooCommerce settings you can do it any way you want there uh, just as you would normally but then you need to come down into the social deals tab now once you get in here you can activate the product uh, as far as a deal is concerned which will then have it activated as a deal as you've already seen on the, the page for the, the product and or deals page will activate it um, you can display expired deals meaning that after the deal ends it'll still be it'll still display that it's ended and people have missed out on the deal you can add in your deal image and here we have specifics that you want to have the image should have a width of around 600 pixels uh, depending on your theme, which is the big thing here, every theme is different. Every theme has a different width. Uh, you can see here specifically this this theme has very specific width. Here's where it stops before the sidebar. There's always a buffer in here as well. As you can see, that buffer's in there. And the buffer, your spacing between your actual content and the edge and how big your image is is going to be uh, you know based on your theme itself so generally we'll say around a width of 600 pixels but at the same time it, it might be theme dependent you might have to adjust from there make it smaller or bigger most likely uh, smaller in a lot of cases okay it says here display on home page that's for that deals page we talked about in the last video which is this deals page right here where we show all our deals now with that you can select as I said before you can select no you don't want to show on on the deals page um, you can run a dime sale meaning you have set your base price for the sale but you can also have it increase uh, for example I can have it increase a dollar you know every 10 sales and then it'll get you know to the uh, price the original price that you had set you know, it'll go that high if you wanted to if not set by stock or or time to get to there but that you can set those in here as options that's an option to run a dime sale uh, and you can do just literally a dime sale as well increasing price 10 cents you know every three sales if you want so or every sale if you want or every hundred sales doesn't matter you can do whatever you want here with that as far as a dime sales concerned now if you want to run a affiliate deal if you want to promote affiliate products or say a CPA offer uh, you can do that you put your your affiliate link in here and it will be cloaked by WooCommerce so it won't be displaying your affiliate link on the page you'll get a, a claim offer 
uh, link or button and just like your your add to cart button except you know instead of you know see deal you know you'll see uh, or add to cart on your page you'll see uh, claim this offer instead or whatever you want it to say on that button oh, and you can go from there and I will uh, show you at, use the links on this page in the uh, knowledge base here it'll take you to the claim this offer specific tutorial that'll show you exactly how to set this up and uh, maximize the settings for the claim this offer feature uh, to help you understand how you can deliver coupons get people to opt in to get a deal whatever there's a lot of uh, advantages of using the claim offer even even for uh, physical products that you own as well like offering voucher voucher numbers etc now down here uh, you can select you know if you're using the regular buy feature and using the shopping cart of WooCommerce back to uh, you know the regular features of WooCommerce you can also customize the add to cart text in other words this text here instead of saying add to cart you could say you know get this you know now whatever you want it's you know buy now twenty dollars whatever you can do uh, whatever you want and change the text right there now the available and bought box goes back to what we talked about in the inventory uh, available is going to be this quantity right here and your stock quantity that's what's available and back in our settings here um, It'll all, by setting that it'll also show customers how many on the page will show many have been purchased of the deal so far and how many are left so it it adds that scarcity as well if you have a limited amount of stock uh, and you, people already see that you know half of them been purchased this is a great way to get people to buy now here if you're running specific offers for uh, businesses other than yourself you can put their business information in here add their logo put their business address all that uh, their URL their map address to show a map and show a map pop-up content on the page as well you can add it all in here and it'll show that business information on the page so you can really uh, advertise for businesses if you're running special offers and running products on your site um, it is compatible with the Product vendor plugin uh, for WooCommerce. If you're uh, not aware of it, I have a, a link here in the knowledge base as well to show you if you want to allow other businesses to come in and add products and run special offers on your site. You can use that. It's not our plugin, it's another third party plugin, but a great addition uh, to the deals engine as well. And uh, then you can add in your own terms and conditions. For the offers for the special offer or deal you're running and then down here we get into what we talked about before in the main settings we talked about our social sharing links in the last video and uh, with this as shown on the page here you have share and get more discounts you can link that to additional content to describe as the social sharing discounts feature uh, and then when these buttons are clicked the price here will go down as the user shares them, likes your fan page, etc. A great feature for getting people to not only uh, get inter interactive with your product, with your deal, but to get social sharing, you know, additions, you know, more shares for it, which gets you higher SEO. And if they're sharing to get the discount, most of the time they're going to buy as well. So a great the social sharing discounts thing as soon as they click on this button the page will reload and that discount will appear so it's instant they don't have to wait for a coupon or anything like that it's it's instant right on the page and uh, you can get more information on the social sharing uh, discounts as you see here you can select how much for each share the fan page can be customized we had it in the main settings but this can be customized on a per deal basis this all can be customized per individual products you don't have to ha use the main one from the, the main offer now that being said um, for additional information on this particular feature you can also the link here in the knowledge base take you to the full uh, social sharing discount uh, extension 
uh, tutorial to show you a little bit more about how this actually works. But really, uh, it, that is it. As soon as you get all this filled out in your product, you go ahead and uh, click on the update button and or publish if it's a new product or a new deal. And then you're now running it and you'll have your offer here. And if you chose to have it on the deals page, you will then you know have those deals on your deal page if you have it scheduled to come up later it'll be in upcoming deals if it's ending soon it'll be in the ending soon and then active and you can have you know select as per the main settings how many deals you want to have you can use normal WordPress page templates to decide if you want this page to be uh, full width or with the sidebar like we were showing here so that's it it's that simple the social deals engine plugin uh, for WooCommerce WooCommerce edition has a lot of great features to help increase your sales through deals and special offers affiliate link use and uh, with the claim this offer feature you can also uh, use your own vouchers uh, etc so that's it guys uh, a lot of great features easy to use plugin uh, if you have any additional questions go ahead and post them in the um, customer forum here at wpsocial.com. Thanks.